That's actually uh, work that has only recently gotten going in my lab. Uh, I would say uh, no more than three or four years ago. Um, the oligodendrocytes create the myelin uh, wrapping of the axons, and so in, in doing that wrapping, they improve the speed of conduction along an axon. In Alzheimer's disease, and in actually uh, many forms of dementia, those wrappings uh, fail, and so the conduction velocity is actually impeded. We think that that event, that loss of interaction between the axon and the oligodendrocyte, is actually one of the first events in Alzheimer's disease and may in fact drive the disease. Um, that was the essence of the, uh, uh, the big symposium that we did yesterday on myelin. Um, but the idea is that by breaking down, not only do they injure the axon and prevent it from uh, uh, it conveying information at the proper speed, they also create its debris of myelin which acts as a very powerful uh, uh, immune stimulant, making the whole problem worse because now you've got an activated immune system. And we've known for years that that is one of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease, this chronic inflammation of the brain. The thing is the data has been there for years. Uh, George Botsakis first started talking about this in the early 2000s, and the field just didn't see how it connected to some of the uh, the ongoing uh, disease models, and so it was largely ignored. So I feel like my job right now is to try and make people understand that, that the cell biology is important, the systems biology is important, and it's really a contributor, if not a driver, of Alzheimer's disease. Well, we still know very little about the underlying cell biology. Uh, we've got data in my own lab that one of the things that drives the fragility uh, of the oligodendrocyte is an age-related loss of DNA integrity. So that DNA damage ultimately drives them into a cell cycle and that cell cycle kills them. Um, but we know very little about how that cell biology interacts uh, with the network functioning of the brain. We need to figure that out. But therapeutically, what it suggests is that anything we can do to maintain the health of that myelin which would be a totally fresh approach to Alzheimer's disease, but anything we can do to maintain the health of that structure uh, would be clinically quite valuable. Uh, so we're thinking along those lines right now.